Hello, my name is Laoline, and in this video I would like to talk about the I2C peripheral found on all versions of Rensis' newest microcontroller family, the RA. In this block diagram we can see the RA4M3 group shown here on the right. The RA4M3 includes the ARM M33 CPU core with up to 100 MHz frequency. Operating from 2.7 to 3.6 volts, the RA4M3 is offered with flash sizes of 512 kilobytes, 768 kilobytes, and 1 megabyte, and includes 128 kilobytes of RAM in all versions. The RA4M3 includes many efficient and unique features. This video will focus on the I2C peripheral. Here you have a short description of the main differentiating features of the RA. 4M3. It really is an excellent multi-purpose MCU with many outstanding features. So what is the I2C peripheral? The inter-integrated circuit, more commonly known as I2C or IIC, is a synchronous multi-master, multi-slave, packet-switched, single-ended serial communication bus. Invented in 1982 by Philips Semiconductors. It is widely used for attaching lower speed peripheral ICs to processors and microcontrollers in short distance intra board communication. In the course of time, enhancements have been made to the I2C standard, and the transmission speeds have increased from 100 kilobytes per second in standard mode to 5 megabits per second in ultra fast mode. The RA4M3 supports transmission speeds of up to 1 megabit per second in fast mode plus, also called FM plus. Connection distances between master and slave are typically less than 30 centimeters. However, when using a differential driver, distances of up to 20 meters or even 100 meters can be achieved. It is important to incorporate pull-up resistors on both the SDA and SEL lines as bi-directional open collector or open drain lines are used. The I2C bus peripheral provides asynchronous bi-directional data transfer through a two-wire multi-master serial ended bus. The I2C module supports operation in legacy I2C mode and in system management bus or SMB bus, V2 mode. The module can be operated as a single master or multi-master transmitter and receiver, and as a slave transmitter and receiver. In addition to 7-bit and 10-bit address formats, it also supports match detection for slave, general call, device ID, and SM bus host addresses. For higher transmission rates, the I2C module supports fast mode plus, as said before. The I2C module includes a bus hanging timeout feature that is particularly useful when the slave holds the clock low for an, an unexpectedly long period of time. The Serial Communication Interface, SCI, on the RA series can be configured to support a number of asynchronous and synchronous serial interfaces, including a simple I2C master at a limited speed of 400 kilobits per second. As the RA 4M3 has two full I2C peripherals and six SCI ports, it is possible to configure up to eight individual I2C peripherals or ports. This can be advantageous when connecting a large number of identical I2C slaves, for instance, temperature sensors, that have limited configurable address possibilities. Renesis provides an example project bundle for all of their RA evaluation ports. These demonstrate most of the peripherals on the device. The I2C peripheral is also included. Here we find two versions, one master mode and one in slave mode. There is also a version based on the SCI peripheral in simple I2C mode. I will further detail the master mode example. The I2C master example project for the EK RA4M3 evaluation board demonstrates the connection writing to the configuration registers and reading the output registers of a 3D accelerometer. Use is made of a standard ADXL 345 evaluation board 
that is modified with two pull-up resistors of between 3.9 and 4.7 kilo ohms on the SDA and SDL lines. Most of the settings for the I2C Master example project can be configured in the Properties tab of the I2C Master driver stack in the E2 Studio environment. As you see, the settings of the slave address of the ADXL345, the 7-bit address mode, the name of the callback function, and the actual pins being used for the SDA and SEL are configured in the Properties tab. I will now demonstrate this project on the EK RA4M3 evaluation board. Here you see the demonstration program loaded into E Square Studio, the I Square C Master based on the EK RA4M3 evaluation board. Here you see the uh, stacks configuration, and you see the uh, I Square C Master stack. If I click on the master stack and look at the uh, properties window, I see the uh, most important aspects of the uh, properties, the uh, name obviously of the uh, stack, the slave address of the uh, ADXL345 that's being addressed in 7 bits mode, the name of the callback and the actual pins being used, P401 and P408. Now if I compile the project, I will see that there are zero errors and zero warnings. I've made a few adaptations to the project, to the standard project, which you will receive in the uh, associated files with this uh, video. Um, you'll see that I've made a change to the code and where its comment code has been commented out. I've changed the uh, variables to the uh, to be accessible outside of the main loop and I'm only using 8 bits of data for clarity. So I've compiled it, I'll download it to the target. Up it comes in debug mode. If I click on run, you'll go to the first line of main, and then once I click on run again, you'll see that values for the X, Y, and Z start appearing at a frequency of one update per second, and down here at the bottom, you'll see that I've copied these uh, values into a real-time chart, a little bit clearer. The values are 8-bit uh, and I've normalized them to uh, a 1 by using this expression. I'm using the uh, variable for the x-axis, dividing it by 255 and then that's normalized to 1. If you have a look at the evaluation board now, if I move the sensor, the accelerometer, you see that the values change accordingly on the graph. The board is only connected with four wires, VCC and ground, SDA and SCL. clearly see that I've added two pull-ups for the SCL and SDA.
This concludes the demonstration. Download the I2C example and implement these features in your next application. This example is included in the downloads together with the presentation. In closing, I would like to thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions or recommendations for future videos, don't hesitate to contact me on this address. Thank you for your time.